Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hi. Um, I make book content, sometimes witchy content, uh, sometimes mostly book related videos, but also some other little things every now and then, some vlogs, that kind of thing. But today I just have like an update video for you guys and some books that I like, I'm looking forward to getting to. They're not like a TBR because if, if I call it a TBR, then I'm not gonna read them. <laughs> so I mostly have been away for a few reasons. One is school. So I officially finished off my second year of university. So I'm really happy about that. And I am pursuing a undergrad criminology degree right now. So in case any of you guys are wondering, but that's what I'm studying right now. My cat, Broody, who you guys who have followed me for a while definitely know of, he passed away, I think about a month ago or over a month ago, actually. And that punched me in the gut. Um, you know, just gutted me, cut out my insides and then threw them. But it's kind of a, an aggressive uh, image there that I just probably put in your heads, but it, it was a lot. So I've been just trying to deal with that. And then since I've, I just got home recently from university and he's not here and it's, uh, it's really hard, but thank you to everyone that has sent me condolences or anything like that. I really appreciate it. Some of you guys probably don't even know because I only talked about it really on Instagram um, and Twitter. So yeah that was going on. Um, in other news that's a little bit more exciting, I I have a Discord server now. If any of you guys want to join that, we just talk about books, gaming, you'll get notifications for my live streams, you could chat with other people. Uh, there's lots of like categories in there, there's like some music ones, some quotes, like you can, you'll find something you like in there probably. So if you want to join that, I'll have that down below, as well as I started a Twitch. So I've been Mostly in my free time, I've been gaming and I've been streaming a lot on Twitch and I really, really love it, to be honest. I really like the community there and I've made so many friends so far and I just have such a great time, not only streaming, but watching other people's streams and interacting with like the Twitch community and the, specifically the Dead by Daylight community because that's the game that I've been mainly playing. Uh, so thank you to anyone who's come over to my Twitch or said hi, I really appreciate it and yeah, we recently hit affiliate on Twitch. So like now I have channel points and like some emote slots and I can get subscribers now. So a lot of exciting things. Since I am home for the summer, I am gonna, like I do have, I'm gonna be starting a new job soon and I'm gonna be of course like streaming on Twitch and hoping to get back into like reading more consistently as well as making more content for my YouTube channel. So if you guys have anything you really wanna see from me, any specific recommendations, anything like that, definitely let me know. I, I've made a lot of recommendations videos in the past and I think I wanna like redo some of my older videos. Like I'm not gonna delete them, but I think I could do the same kind of videos I used to. But like now that I'm older and I, I can actually talk about things more and you know, I'm not like 13 with braces. So maybe. <laughs> Some books I'm excited about though, I am really excited about The Song of Achilles. I took a mythology course this this year and it was like my favorite course and I just love mythology in general but I definitely like fell like head first into it this year. Like the amount of plays that I've read um, in Greek, like just Greek tragedies, uh, I, I love them. <laughs> They're I love it. <laughs> so I'm really excited to read The Song of Achilles uh, and, and honestly any other mythology inspired books. I have, I think a new one about the Trojan War from the women's perspective, I'll put that on the screen. I don't remember what it's called right now, but I bought that recently. I got it at Costco, it was on sale, but not the point. I'm so excited to read this. And I like held off on buying it till I found it for the right price. And now that I have it, it's just like, Hopefully I'll get to this soon. I also wanna pick up Cersei by Madeline Miller because I heard that one's also phenomenal and I do really like Cersei because, you know, goddess of necromancy, like why, how, why wouldn't I? <laughs> also uh, from Andrews McMill Publishing, they sent me this, which is The Apricot Memories by Tess Gennari. Don't, not sure, but this one seems cool. It's uh, just, a poetry collection and I really like Andrews McNeil's poetry collections usually. Uh, this one has all 
like cute pink pages and like little poems and this is just gonna be like such a fast read but like I'm I hope I'm gonna really enjoy it and I love poetry collections I love flying through them and you know sometimes they're exactly what I need and then sometimes it's a flop so we'll see how this one goes I'm excited about it though I also am excited about I'm a hero uh, this is oh I really don't want to butcher that name I really don't want to okay that's the author's name I don't want to butcher that <laughs> So yeah, this is supposed to be a horror zombie manga, and I'm really excited about it. I've owned it for a little bit. I have the first two volumes. I'm not sure how many are in this series, but I have the first two little bind-ups, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. I think it's gonna be a fun time, and yeah. I need to also read more like Jinjo Ito. However, don't own that many of his books. I only have one, and I've already read it, <laughs> so I, the point is, I'm excited about horror manga, so hopefully this one will be good. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. If you've read it, definitely let me know. I would love to know what you thought about it. So yeah, I think that's all for my updates and like what's new and stuff, but definitely let me know any content that you're interested in seeing from me. And yeah, I would love to get on like a YouTube schedule of some sort or at least upload like certain amount of days a week because I, I do miss YouTube. It's just been a very discouraging experience for me recently, uh, just because I don't get the, the views that I used to. And like, I can pretend that I don't give a shit about views, but like when you notice your views just going down, it, it is discouraging, especially if you put more effort into them now, or, you know, it's, it's not a great feeling and I'm sure other creators know what I'm talking about, but I'm back. And thanks for everybody for sticking with me. And I will see you all super soon with a new video. Bye.